the Tengzu Baje, or Baji, as we're going to call it. Let's talk about it. Now, this sample is sent to me on loan, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. This is a dynamic driver for BA, one EST, and one bone conductor driver IEM. So, a quadrid. So, let's start by looking at the build quality and comfort of this guy, and then we'll go from I really like the shell of this IEM. You can notice it has a nice lip, has a nice fit. It has some venting on the top. It has a metal grate. It is a little bit large. It kind of makes the Afu Magic 1 look tiny in comparison. But in ear, it feels really quite nice, despite it being a little bit big and it's not too heavy. But again, I, I use so many IEMs, it doesn't bother me. But for those where fit is a concern, I think this could be a concern for many. Um, it does kind of have these gratings on the top and sort of a flat pin connector at the top. The face plate is extremely pretty and overall the shell and the quality of this is nice looking, handsome and comfortable, at least in my ear. And it has all the features I would want of a beautiful IEM shell. So we're just going to take a look at the packaging that you would get. It does come with this nice case, which you can find for $20. I really like this case that it comes with. And I think if you're after an IEM case, this is a, it's a great one to do. I really like it. Um, it has a nice set of tips, three sets of tips, beautiful cable. Uh, again, I don't have that with me. And overall, a nice package and appearance to this IEM overall. So how does this IEM sound? It's neutral, it's clean, but it's not super pristine and it has a few minor quirks. Overall, it is a nice sounding IEM with a lot of technical ability and an overall fun IEM, but it's not excessively fun. It has some weird quirks that I want to talk to you guys about as we kind of get into the graph section. But overall, this is a very resolute, neutral, relaxed, fun set that has a lot of great qualities. Let's get into the graph section. All right, as we look at the graph, you'll notice it fits the target quite well. It has a little bit lean sub base, a little bit extended of this 6K peak or 5.5K peak, but a nice extended treble. This is a nice IEM. It's really a really good quality IEM, and I think it's a great contender for the price that it is. This is a $600 set and I think it has some good things going on for it, but is it absolutely exceptional depending on what else is out there in the market? Let's look at a few other sets, kind of see where it kind of goes and sort of go from there. Um, I always like comparing other things from the brand. This is the Tangzu X HBB One and V. You can tell they have some similar characteristics. While the One and V is a little bit more of that, you know, that that Metatune style IEM. Um, you know, the the Baji is um, a little bit different. Has a few different characteristics, like that peak right there, and a little bit extended, better treble. Uh, just something to kind of note. Um, as we look at other ones in the in the market, you look at the variations. The variations is known for this um, this dip right here. So if you normalize this, like right around here, which I normally don't do, but let's take a look at that. You can tell that it would have a little bit more bass and a lot more treble extension, kind of depending on where you want it. So they do have significant um, values when you look at them like at this. So normalization of where you put IEMs, like here's back at 500 where we normally try to keep them. But you notice the variations does have a little bit of a peak here and this has a little bit of a different style energy. I, I think the Baji is a very nice sounding IEM and it does a lot of things really quite well, but it's just not perfect in my, my taking. One thing I want to show you that reminds me a little bit of the Crimson. I mean, I kind of like the Crimson. The Crimson has a little bit more bass. I think the Baji's like dynamics are a little bit better. The Crimson seemed a little bit lacking in that regard. Might have been driver, might have been just having a hard time fitting in my ear. But like the Crimson, like it does have really great air and extension. I think part of it's this extra, extra air here. But it does come across like slightly unnatural, almost like a U-shaped presentation with like extra bass and extra upper air. 
Uh, but they kind of remind me of each other having a little bit of a like lack of refinement in this region here and the crimson had kind of really struggles with multiple peaks in this kind of death valley which i kind of hate it um another one to look at this is an example of this valley kind of done right is the jupiter like the jupiter just has a little bit more base and it has a little bit less treble through here but it's a little bit more even and then it drops it drops down just about the same so i mean these really kind of trade blows with each other um i think you know i i really like the jupiter and i think it's a better set it just has more fun but it also could come across maybe a little bit too bassy where the baji could be a really good winner for people especially if you're looking for a little bit more lean base and yeah the jupiter is like 1600 where the baji is like you know 500 600 depending on what kind of sale or price you get so something to note um another one to look at it's a lot like the the critical dusk which is half the cost i mean you can see the critical dust this is an analog form they both have good extension they both have about the same base dynamics uh, there's a lot to be said i think um the baji has a little bit more energy but for me i don't know I, it just kind of depends on what you're trying to go for i think the baji is maybe a little bit more fun the dusk is a little bit more neutral and clean it just kind of depends on what you're looking for i mean look at something like the quintet which is also a lot cheaper it has a very similar fr graph but the quintet kind of has this crazy peak at 10k and so the baji is a lot more smooth out in the upper air and treble and it just has a really nice hi-fi clean sound and it's just an overall solid pick really solid pick one i wanted to show which is kind of at the price point which i would recommend just a little bit more would be the uh the high senior mega 5 base i feel like it's just a little bit more sparkly dynamics and i think i'd even recommend the regular mega fest above this they both kind of trade blows um but i mean i think you know what you're getting even with the regular mega fest is about the same tuning but you don't have that extra like 4.5k peak i mean with the base version you get just a lot more base and it just really helps spicing up the the mega 5 because the mega 5 is kind of boring now one thing to note if you have the mega 5 est base you can slap on a 10 ohm impedance adapter and it basically turns into the mega 5 est base that's something to note that i i've noticed let's rank up the baji like it's a nice sounding i am it has decent bass not exciting it's highs and air that's also pretty good like the tuning of the baji is solid but it's not super impressive and it's just kind of like just kind of that neutral tune but it's okay the tech of the baji is also pretty good but it feels a little bit muddled and it doesn't feel as clean and clear as I would want it to be. I think it does a lot of things well. It has a nice tune, it has decent bass, it has a nice kind of a neutral presentation, but a little bit muffled and not as pure and clean as I want it to be. I think part of that might be the bone conductor driver or some other things, but overall, I think it's one of those IEMs that if you're in the market for a $600 IEM, I think it could be good. So overall, this is a really nice, fun, solid set that's easy to listen to, that's beautiful, that has a nice shell with unique features to it. It's an overall solid package and a great implementation of the bone conductor driver. It feels nice in ear, but it doesn't have this it factor. It doesn't have this dynamic factor that makes me absolutely love it. It's not that I hate it, I just feel that there's something lacking about it like it's not super cheap it is packaged well but for me is like it's just not something i really want to listen to all the time it's just kind of one of those iams that i think does some things okay i think certain iams like maybe jay's Australia or you know like you know there's or maybe the awful performer seven might be sets that are half the price or so and do some things right about at this kind of a level but it just really depends on what you're looking for in your music. If you're looking for that ESG driver and you want to try a bone conductor set, I think this has a, has some pretty good value. And I think this is a solid set that I've enjoyed my time testing. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. You're still here. It's over. Go home.
Go watch another IEM video. It's done. That's the entire video. What more do you want?